guys. Sorry if it's a bit windy and loud. Just off to a walk, or on a walk, sorry, because I thought I'd take you guys down to the Holywell site in Eastbourne. This is Eastbourne's seafront. Well, this is the quieter half of Eastbourne's seafront. And over there, ahead of me, is the start of the cliffs of Beachy Head that goes round to the Seven Sisters. Sunshine! Beautiful! Almost at the Holy Well. Beautiful sunshine. I just wanted to show you what it's like to stand underneath these cliffs. They're magnificent. Slightly dangerous if you don't know where to walk, but thankfully I do. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, more sunshine. Gorgeous. Just wanted to show you these lumps of really, really sea worn stone chalk that comes off the cliffs when there's a, a rock fall. And they land down here and go from that to that. And the sea just erodes at them and washes them. Absolutely beautiful. And here we are. The gorgeous holy well. It's absolutely beautiful. See, people have found heart shaped stones. Somebody's written thank you and place that there. It's not a typical looking well, but the original meaning of the word well was a place where water welled out of the ground. So in other words, it's a spring. Now it's said that around 1896 in similar times, this was a fishing settlement. Doreen Valiente actually wrote of the Holy Well, saying that a 19th century local writer named Baxter wrote that half a mile from the sea houses. The sea houses was the old name for Eastbourne near the pier. A shallow beach spring called Holywell sprung up. Shallow beach means iron bearing. These waters have long been held in high esteem for their healing property. So it's often gathered like I am now for ritual and magical purposes. The energy down here is just absolutely stunning. As I said, magical. It's so quiet and calm. I've got my bottle here. I've already gathered a little bit. Just gonna get a little bit more of the water. I mean, it's tradition to pop a little back in for good intentions and in good faith. I just had a beautiful meditation down here tide is out at the moment. When the tide is in, it doesn't reach into the site of this holy well. I don't know if you can see the sea is over there, but it does come right up to those big black rocks, which means that the beach leading up to the holy well is impassable at rising and high tides. But it's okay, I've got a good hour before that comes back in. So I just thought I'd bring you down to in my mind, one of the most magical sights of my beautiful hometown, Eastbourne. I adore this place. I wish I could live here. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I do. As you listen to the waters of this gorgeous well, I hope you can feel the energies that come through. Purification calm, healing, serene, purity in its purest form.
Blessed be everyone. It's also a tradition when you visit the Holy Well to place a stone upon the defences. As I said, the sea doesn't actually come into the Holy Well. However, it is tradition, and I think a beautiful one, for the people of this town and visitors who trek to this site. It is a famous, famous site, sacred site. And so I have got my rock and I'm going to place it right there. I thought on the way back I'd bring you up to Eastbourne's Italian Gardens so named because of their few uh, Italian style structures that are within the park and the layout um, the six palms that lead up to the stand at the end I'll just show you around this is a favoured site for open air rituals for open circles it's absolutely stunning up here just down there where you can hear a doggy barking is the Holy Well tea chalet. But uh, I just wanted to show you another beautiful part. It's literally 30 seconds up from the Holy Well. So that's part of the reason why it's favoured for ritual work and circles here. And it's also bursting with different herb plants. So, having felt a definite approval, I'm going to do a little bit of wildcrafting. Blessed be.